I have a question for you guys today that I'm extremely interested in hearing the answer to. So if you wouldn't mind indulging me, the question that I want you to ask yourself and I'd love to get your feedback on is how many of you when something very challenging in life happens to you, you lose a job, something personally happens, or just something that really just throws your life for a whirlwind for a period of time, we all go through it at some season. How many of you stop doing the habits and the things that you've, that you always do that are good for your life, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's reading, you know, those habits that are ingrained into your life. How many of you, when those things happen in life, that's really difficult and it just really messes you up mentally, whatever it might be. How many of you stop doing those things that are good for you that you've already built routines around into your life? I'm very curious. I think this is something that we don't necessarily talk about because those habits that we already have in place are habits, right? We do them all the time. But what about when life gets really challenging? What about when things that were going one way completely shift and stop and turn you in a whole nother direction that make you have to become more resilient when it comes to that stress or that 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 situation? I'm really curious and it, I, I would love to hear your guys' feedback if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment to say either yes, I stopped doing those things for a period of time or no, that's when those things become extremely even more important to me because I can tell you from my experience too, guys, the things that I do all the time in my life sometimes shift when life throws me a curveball that I have to deal with. And I'd love to know what you guys, what you guys think because a lot of what I talk about on this channel is building habits and forming foundational principles and, and rituals into your life that can help you take your life to the next level. But on the other note is life happens. Very difficult things happen in our life. And how do we actually cope when those things happen? Do we stop doing the things that we know are good for us that we've already built into our life? Or do we double down and do those things even more? I've been on both sides. As in, I stop doing those things. And on the other side, I start doing those things even more to help me stay centered, to help me begin to understand who I am and I need to keep those things and those principles in place to help me keep resilient and fight through that challenge. I think it's an interesting question. I love your guys' feedback. Please leave a comment if you're watching this video on where you fall between those two and maybe even what your strategy is when that happens. Because I know now in my life when I have those things that are very difficult and challenging that throw my life for a whirl, I double down on the things that are good for my life, those habits that are in place, the reading, the writing, the working out, the, the mental preparation, because you need to be extremely resilient. And if you can build resilience, if you can build stress tolerance, it will help you perpetuate yourself through those things. Because looking back after you get through that challenge, you can say, wow, I've become stronger. That challenge, that life circumstance was put in my life for a specific reason to help me grow. It was there for a reason. And it's in that time that you have a choice to fight through or to let that thing really strangle, strang strangle your life or, or your emotions. But I, I challenge you, if you're on that side of giving, giving up on those things, and just really trying to deal with that life problem is to double back down on the things that you do that are really good for your life because that helps build that resilience, that stamina uh, to help you fight through and then eventually get past that life challenge and say, wow, I'm so happy I went through that because it built me up. It made me stronger and uh, you know what's gonna happen also, guys? Your habits and principles will even mean so much more and they'll become stronger and you can build on those as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Love to hear. Please leave a comment below. Uh, I'd love to know what your specific uh, way and strategy is about going through that and how you actually uh, go through things like that. I don't think we talk about that enough in, enough in this day and age. It's like build your habits, build this, do this, do this. But what about when things really get thrown? What about those life challenges that really just you know, take us a step back? What do we do then? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.